Hello everybody, I hope you are well. I did a reading on a friend the other day and the message I was getting was to curl up into Buddha's hands and I thought this would make a wonderful meditation today. So we're just going to do a really gentle nurturing meditation and healing and I've got my Bodhi tree out, my last remaining bonsai. I used to have about 200 of them. <laughs> this has been with me about 15 years and this is supposed to be the tree that Buddha sat beneath. I didn't know that when I got it. So we have our representation of Buddha sitting and lying just because I like this and I think let's just do a bit of grounding that I've not prepared this I've just been given the idea so let's just ground so I'm just going to reach out and I'm going to place my hands over your shoulders and feel the weight pressing down, resting on you. And I want you to look at the trunk of the tree directly in the sight and follow those trunks into the ground and imagine the roots spreading out and you can probably feel them coming out of your feet and join your roots into the Bodhi tree the tree that Buddha sat beneath for years and years and those roots grow down and down and down pushing through the soil and past the rocks deeper and deeper some of them travel right the way down to the center of the earth. Others root in crystal and mineral veins that crisscross the planet. And others root in to the Bodhi tree. So you're getting the three energies there. You're getting the energy of the Bodhi tree, the energy of the crystal colors that you can see in your mind and the deep anchor groundedness of the center of the earth and I want you to relax breathe out then breathe out again and finally one last time And now I want you to protect yourself. I want you to imagine a green light emanating out of the Bodhi tree and traveling towards you, enveloping you in a beautiful green color. It could be as green as this Maasai scarf. And let it fill out around you of pure healing energy, grounding energy and comforting energy. From the top of your head to below your feet, in front of you and behind you. And each time you breathe up through the forest floor, you breathe and vitalize that green energy okay so just now let's call in the buddha energy the buddha light wish from your solar plexus and in your mind's eye just conjure him sitting underneath the tree perhaps his hands are in some kind of mudra, a 
purifying mudra, opening the heart mudra, a wholeness mudra, a receptivity mudra, a balance mudra, or a vitality mudra. And as you look at this tree in the Buddha, it grows and it glows with positivity, love and light. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger and eventually it all gets so big that you will be able to lie in his hand. And his feet are getting bigger in front of you. And I just want you to imagine reaching up and resting your hands on his feet in supplication. The peace of the Buddha, the guru of life, attained his enlightenment to weep for the world. So just a little gesture, and I know a lot of Hindus would do this. And there is a mantra, my mind is entangled in my guru's feet. I live in the beauty of my guru's feet. And those feet are big enough and you can hold the toes and feel the stability of the Buddha as I'm just going to clear away. some of the anxiety and some of the worries. If you don't feel stable, I'm going to clear all of this, just brushing it away. Feeling the energy of the tree, which is very stable, and this Buddha. And I'm just brushing down the body now and away. We ask for peace, healing, and tranquility, just brushing off the back. Peace, healing, and tranquility. If it is something else that you need, just change the words. Okay. All right, breathe out for me. Okay. So before we do anything else, I'm just going to dong the bowl. Just let the sound melt any pain, any anxiety, any hate, any frustration. transmuted and transformed to bring positive energy to the earth again at some stage, okay? So now I would like you to imagine climbing up into this Buddha. So you're going to climb 
And as you're climbing, you know you're going to climb up, clambering up this, these legs that are in lotus position and curling into the Buddha's hands. And just feel those plump bits of cushioning, smooth, soft hands. And as you lie in between them, Buddha and myself will just send healing and calming and nurturing towards you. If you have never had a mother's love, we ask for that. If you need deep comfort for an upsetting event, we send healing for that. If you need to be calmed down because your anxiety levels are high, we send healing for that. If you struggle with anger or rejection, we send healing for that. If you have large levels of physical pain, we ask for healing for that. And this mudra is called Pala Mudra and it is for receptivity. And you can place your hands in front of your solar plexus and do this or your heart. But in this instance, in this visualization, we ask for the deep peace of Buddha energy. And as you lie in this hand, in this mudra, I'm just going to draw the Reiki symbol. So first we draw the Seihei Ki. Just gonna move closer. into your whole body, curled up like a little baby. Okay. Then we're going to draw the distance healing symbol, Honsha. Zi Sha N. Pushing that into you and into you, rest in this hand. Breathe out and that symbol will go backwards down the timelines to your younger self and it will also go into the future timelines to help with your older self. Then we're going to draw the vitality symbol, the chukre. can also be a symbol of protection. And then finally, we're going to draw the Daikumyo, the master symbol. To override everything or anything I have not said. Okay. So I'm just going to move my hand now and just keep imagining that you are in the Buddha's hands. And I'm just going to stroke your hair a little bit as you lie curled up in a fetal position within these glorious soft hands of the Buddha energy. It's going to rain light down beautiful green and pink light, soft, soft pink. And stroking your hair. And stroking your cheek. This Buddha cradles you with a mother's love, compassion, Deep nurturing. He brings stillness 
where the mind was busy. I'm just going to amplify the energy into you now. Really sending it into your heart center from the back or the front into your body. And I'm just going to show you a mudra now how to open your heart. And it is literally one that we all make in modern days. It is that. And you can hold that in front of your heart. You can perhaps do it like this on yourself. But we often do that to other people. In fact, I've done it in the videos. And that is called Purna Hridya Mudra. Sending you the love and compassion of that mudra. Now, I'm doing them very fast. I would advise you to perhaps do the receptivity as you meditate for five minutes and the same with the open heart. There is another one, wholeness, probably linking your hands a little bit. Wholeness, which will help you achieve balance. very calming to do these. I'm feeling my pulse lower. So if you have high blood pressure, it's a good idea to sit down and do some of these. And to purify, you can, you can do that. Hold it in front of you. So there is a few mudras Okay now, so just take your mind back to curling up in Buddha's lovely, soft, plump, smooth hands. And I want you just to curl the corners of your mouth up and do a little smile to yourself. and bringing that beautiful smiling energy into your heart center. And know that all you need to do is change the direction from that to that to feel a little bit better. Channeling this positive green and gold light and the energy of the Bodhi tree. Peace, healing, tranquility. Nobody wants anything from you and nobody needs anything from you. This is your time, your time to refresh, your time to curl up with the love and the light of the Buddha. And there are different kind of Buddhas from different areas. I tend to work with the Indian, but there are South Asian Buddhas and of course the Laughing Buddha of the Far East of China. All equally beautiful, equally peaceful and joyous. And I think let's just ask the Buddha light to help you feel content. Stop striving for a little while. And perhaps now is a good time to bring in the Reiki principles. 
just for today. Do not anger. Just for today. Do not worry. Just for today. Be kind to all living creatures. Just for today, do your work honestly. And just for today, respect your elders. And I'm going to add one more. Just for today, respect everybody. And just bringing our hands together into Gasho. Breathing out. And I'm just going to place my hands on your shoulders now. I'm going to ground you, but I'm going to leave you in the hands of Buddha. Just take your mind back to the tree or look at the tree here and just follow the trunk down into the earth, feeling it ground you and make you a little bit heavier and a little bit more relaxed. And if you wish to fall asleep, know that the Buddha's hands are comforting, cushioning. And caressing, how was that? Another nice word. So I'm now just going to place a hand on your shoulder. I'm going to draw a symbol called Raku to separate myself from you because I will now go about my day, but I want you to have the rest of the Buddha energy and ground it into you. So Raku, the double lightning strike. Okay. Love, light and positivity to you all.